So greetings from my campsite here in World's End State Park up in kind of northeastern Pennsylvania in Sullivan County. I know people have been asking me about coming here. So I'm finally here. I'm not sure if I picked the best three days to be here. Um, I mean, so far today one isn't too bad. We just got done um, hiking Bartlett Mountain, highest point in, over in Wyoming County. We had kind of had success with that, kind of didn't, but it is what it is. It worked out all right. But that was a tough hike and today is kind of a it's kind of a hot muggy day. I got changed out of those nasty clothes. Got the tent set up already. Air mattress is in there. Um, unfortunately, tomorrow is supposed to be like a total washout. Just thunderstorms pretty much all day. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, maybe later in the day. I mean, most of the day it's like 50, 60% chance. So that doesn't necessarily mean all day. But we'll see what happens. But this evening so far, it's pretty nice. Still a little humid but it's cooling down um yeah with all the rain this will be the first this test it or this test this tent is supposed to be waterproof so we'll see what happens oh, i do have extra tarps along so i might put an extra one in front i can kind of set one up in there protect the front a little bit more but we'll see what happens you know if it gets a little wet inside oh well i have the air mattress in there i'm not sleeping like on the tent floor itself so you know it is what it is but like I said, we'll see what happens. You know, you, you live and learn. This will be a test to see how well it does in a rainy situation. What I really wanted is a pavilion. You know, there's a lot of people around you have pavilions and you have campsites. I was, I've been looking for one. They're out there. A lot of them are sold out, actually. A lot, I guess, since everybody's out this summer again, you know, from because nobody was doing anything last summer. Now this summer, everybody's out. A lot of pavilions that I was looking at are sold out. There are some cheaper ones. I don't want to get the cheaper ones. You know, I want, you know, there's water resistant and waterproof. You want the waterproof ones, not just for shade, but for rainy days like this. You know, you want one that you can stick over the picnic table area. Uh, that way, if you're, if it's just raining and raining, you can at least be at the picnic table. And then there's, uh, even some people around here have some set up over their tent. So, and the one, the one that I want has these mesh walls that you can put up around it, even like a side, like a solid side wall. And they kind of zipper, they kind of zipper into each other on the corners so it's kind of cool but of course that one's sold out but we'll see i don't want to go cheap on that yeah i want one that's gonna be have, be strong enough to hold up the little bit of wind and be waterproof and stuff so that's my ne next big camping purchase i kind of wish i had it on this trip but we don't i mean i could have got one i could have got a cheap one but i didn't want to do that all right i'm gonna quit yapping for a while i gotta figure out what i gonna do this evening yet ah terribly hungry hungry yet we might go around visit a few places um as always on these trips i do film i'll be filming some other trails and stuff that won't be a part of this video but this evening maybe we'll check out check out a few things together we'll see <sighs> yeah one not so cool thing was all the trash that was left here this wasn't in the fire pit this was kind of scattered about my area here so whoever was here before site 49 here in the b loop you guys are slobs so I'll be packing that up before we'll see if we can get a fire going tonight they do have firewood just over there that I can purchase but well I'll get this cleaned up yeah so we're gonna make one of those tuna wraps again I think I showed you in a previous video you get, take one of these things of tuna like the tuna salad open it and squeeze it out into one of these tortilla rolls or tortilla well, maybe not a roll but whatever you want to call them I know it looks kind of gross going out of the bag, but pack it there. Set to the side, and kind of, I kind of roll it up, and then take a second one, and kind of roll it down over that one. Gives it just a little bit more stability because they are kind of fragile. And we'll check out the the map here a little bit. Might go to a few places like the. There's a, there's a thing called a rock garden. There's one vista that you can drive up to, and there's like a vista, or a, ro a vista. There's a rock garden up there too, they call it. I might check that out. We'll see. Might, like I said, I might stop at a few places in this video, the camping video, but when I hike the trails and stuff, those will be on other videos. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my little tuna wrap. Got some water, some ibuprofen, and we'll see what happens next. Like, I didn't really, I didn't really have this plan out too well today. Just kind of, just kind of winging it a little bit. I think we will go for a little bit of drive. We're camped down here in the, in the family campground, but we come up Mineral Spring Road and take Cold Run Road. There is a, a vista up here. 
and there's something also something called the rock garden so i think we'll go check out that because that's not i mean one of these i think on friday i'm gonna hike what's called the canyon vista trail so we'll see that again but let's go you know, let's go check it out tonight and away we go got the hiccups now i'm pretty sure this is called mineral springs road We need to find uh, oh, yeah, hiccups. It's called Cold Run Road. I'll take us up to the Vista and where that rock garden is. It's a beautiful drive up through here. Maybe we'll see some wildlife. I know on my way to the park, I saw quite a few deer. I saw one mom and her two fawns, and another mom, another mom with just one fawn. That I could see. So the young ones are they're running around. Alright, so looking for that other road. Cold run road should be up here. Actually, is this it right here? Yeah, there it is. Cold run road. Canyon Vista. Alright, so we'll head this way. Oh, yeah, I'm not using my dash cam right here right now. Just have my other camera up. All right, so a little ways up here, we'll be at that Vista. All right, so here we go. This view is handicap accessible too. There it is down there. Yeah, and the, the rock garden is up that way. We'll check that out. Well, it's handicap accessible. Oh no, the, the, the path does go down for like a wheelchair down that way, but you can also take the walking path. Oh wow, bit hazy out there. Oh, but there's a view, wow. Wow. Yeah, Blue Blaze Trail. This is the Canyon Vista Trail. I think on, like I said, Friday, we might do that trail, but wow. There's the river down there. I think it's the Loyal Sock River, but wow, look at that. That is a view. Yeah, definitely worth a quick drive up here. Don't see any storm clouds out there yet. There's some chance of some strong storms tonight. You know, I prefer that that didn't happen, but you know, it is what it is. It rains will embrace the rain. But yeah, beautiful view, man. That's just awesome. All right. Well, like I said, we'll be back here Friday morning, I think. Hopefully, if everything works out, see this view again. But let's check out that rock garden. It's up across the road here, see what that's all about. Somebody said I need to check it out. One of my viewers, so let's see what it is. It's a rock garden up this way. And it's just across the road from the parking for the, the vista there. So I guess this is the rock garden. Obviously it's, not, obviously it's not a garden. Lots of rocks. Let me say down. I'll walk up there and give you a little bit of a perspective. Let's go walk around just a little bit. Let's see if there's any surprises here. It's kind of a cool place to walk through. If you're a kid or even a big kid.
I'm not sure how big this place is. Looks like all little mazes. Walk down through there. Huh. Yeah, let's go down through here. Ooh. Can't really fit in there though. Oh. Okay. Ouch. That got interesting. This is definitely like a little rock shelter type cave. Looks like there's a little opening up out that way. Wow. If I can get out that way or not. Well, we're here. Let's go for it. Oh, this might be a little tricky getting down here. Okay, definitely cooler down here, temperature-wise. You know, my flashlight went so... And, okay, my foot's getting wedged. Oh, I gotta turn it off. Well, no. I think we can make it over here. I might have to turn it off for a moment. If I don't want to get stuck in here. Yeah, yeah not sure. They can get out this way. Let's go for it. Give me a squeeze. Oh. Probably some horrible camera work here. But oh. There we go. We are up. Kind of. Alright. Alright, sorry for the sloppy camera work down there, but it's pretty a whole lot of room down there. Okay, I see where it came out of down there. All right, pretty fun. Looks like it goes, this keeps on going that way. Oh, there's another hole down there. Okay, all right, pretty awesome place. I probably could have made a video just of this place, but yeah, well, we'll keep it in this video. Yes, yeah, so over there is a the little crevice I walked in, crawled under here, squeezed out of down there. And check this out, there's another little tunnel down there, but I don't think I'm going to go in that one. At least not intentionally here. Because I think it comes out. Well, it doesn't come out on this side, so that one's kind of a dead end. Oh, they're awesome. Okay, so this just goes on and on. Look at this. Okay, so this place is growing on me now. Looks like this sh like rock ledge just keeps going and going. Yeah, just huge rock formations here. Alright, I'm not sure which I like better, the Vista or this. I mean, it's hard to compare them. They're both awesome in their own way. It's almost like a maze. Because then it just continues on down that way, too. Or I could head back up this way. Okay, I think looks like it ends down there. I think we're going to... Can we get up this way? Let's try to go up this way. I think we can squeeze through here. Oh, look, there's another little squeeze. Yeah, we can make it through here. Maybe a better name for this would be the rock maze. Whoops. Rather than a garden. But what does it matter? I think you can make your way right up on top of one of this big one here. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, down that way is the overlook and the road. Wow, look, check this out. What's this down here? Oh, another little, like, uh, crevice area down there. I don't think I saw that when we came in. We have to go down there. I don't think we'll be able to get in from this end. Looks like there's a little... All right, let's get down there. I said it should be around this corner. Oh, there it is. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so we were just up looking in from down there. Gushy in here. Yeah, over here is where it looked like there was like a little room or something. Uh, yeah, just, oh, well, oh yeah, there's light back there. I guess if you were, wow, I guess if you were small enough, let me stoop down here for you. Wow. If you were small enough, you'd go back in there. All right, so we'll head back out this way. Pretty cool place. Glad we came. Gushy in here. Yeah, definitely worth a visit. Even just a, even just a quick little visit. Check things out. Probably a few more hidden places I could explore in there, but I kind of want to get back to camp. Got to start thinking about what I'm gonna get ready for supper. Not sure how much I'm gonna eat tonight. I'm gonna hopefully get a campfire going. Like I said, it might storm this evening, but it looks good now. But that doesn't mean that later tonight it won't. But we can get a fire going at some point. Although it's pretty warm just yet. All right, let's head back down. But you know what? <laughs> let's just get one last look at this vista. Maybe when I'm here on Friday, it won't be as hazy. I mean, even with the haze, it's still just awesome. Wow. Yeah, that is just amazing. And it's gonna be so fun to hike along this trail too, right along the edge. All right. I guess we'll head back down now. Maybe we'll get in the river at some point. We'll see. All right, we are back home. <laughs> I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try and get down to the river. It's just, it's just down there. So let's see, make this happen. Walk down this way. Someone else's campsite, but no one's home, so. All right, well that's campsite 47. There's my spot, so let's go down this way for a little walk down the campground road and should be able to, you can hear the highway down there. Should be able to get down the river. All right. Yep, just like that, here's the river. All right, just gotta get across this mini river. Actually, I think we'll go over there. And here we are. The Loyal Sock River. Beautiful. This is what we saw from way at the top. I think more, I think we were up that way. All right, I'm gonna find a place to put my feet in the water, I think, for a little bit. Oh, that feels amazing on my tired feet. Like I said, I did a lot of 
hiking earlier today. This feels great. I'm actually, I might actually dunk my head in here. It's nice cold water. Amazing, amazing views. Look back the other way. Are a few people down there enjoying themselves. Yeah, awesome spot. Good idea to come down here. Whew. No storms yet. Thank thankfully. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little. Oh, you left now. Yeah, there was one little tiny little fish nibbling away at my feet, but he got camera shy. Oh, yeah, I could stay down here the rest of the evening, I think. Stay here a little bit longer. But, gotta get up and make supper soon. Yeah, I did dunk my head in this water. Whew, that felt good. All right, well, farewell for now. That was a beautiful spot to sit, but we're gonna start making way back up to camp. Get some supper cooking and some coffee going. Let me get a campfire going. It's not, no storms yet, so that's good. All right, we're gonna have beans again. I know we had beans last time I was camping down in Maryland. Brown sugar and hickory, but I love baked beans and they're quick and easy to make. Let's get them going. Some food. I think I'll work on get some coffee going too. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So just like that, the beans are ready. Take them off. Get some. Heat some water up for the coffee. And I learned my learned my lesson. I, I'll keep the creamers in a plastic bag by themselves because last time you know, one of the creamers burst open into one of my gear bags so keep the coffee in one bag and the creamers in another that way in case there's damage it stay, stays in the baggie <laughs> all right get this water warmed up let the beans cool down just a little bit and we'll get going i think you know i think i forgot paper towels though i always forget one thing on these trips with a look in the jeep yet i have wet wipes but i could use some paper towels to clean things up but anyway gotta forget at least one thing on these trips all right the water is boiling all right coffee in there we got hazelnut creamer this time i still have some of the other stuff but got some new different flavor All right, that'll be good. Yep, baked beans. See if they're still, they've cooled down a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, didn't eat, didn't really eat much lunch. Really, I mean, I had that little uh, tuna wrap earlier today, but that was, that was kind of it. Didn't have much of breakfast either. I popped hearts for breakfast, so yeah, kind of hungry. Yeah, I'm just so thankful that the storms haven't come yet. I was looking at the weather. I was saying like at 5 o'clock there's going to be like 70% chance of storms. Some of them possibly severe. And it's not like after 6, so. Still could rain, you know, through the, throughout the night. Maybe possibly thunderstorms, so we'll see what happens. And like I said, tomorrow, man, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Ah. Oh. Yeah, different plans. I was thinking about heading up to another state park tomorrow. Keep it all my camping stuff here because I'm sp spending two nights here, but maybe going up to Mount Pisgah State Park, which is like an hour away and just to, because you know I'm trying to get to every state park here in Pennsylvania, but I'm thinking I might not do that tomorrow. Just enjoy myself here at World's End. Because there's plenty of trails here to hike. And if it is pouring down rain tomorrow, I'm just gonna go hiking anyway. I got the umbrella right over there. So, just like we did when we were out uh, in Western PA in that uh, 
went to Ohio Pile State Park. I did that Laurel Highlands video. It was just pouring down rain. We'll just we'll embrace the rain tomorrow if it is. Uh, we'll just do some of the trails that don't have vistas. We'll do some of the trails that have waterfalls maybe. You know, if it's raining, the waterfalls will be good. Then Friday we'll save that, that canyon vista trail. So, hopefully. And we got mosquitoes. All right. Another reason why I need one of those pavilions with the, the bug screens, the mesh screens. All right. All right, let's get this fire going. So I am using one of these. These these are awesome. These uh, zip fire starters. So I got one down in there. So we had to light it. They burn for like 18 minutes. And you can just leave the plastic on. And then I'll start stacking some other firewood on here. I just picked up from the over there. All right, we'll let that go and we'll get a fire going because to be honest, I don't really know what's going to happen tomorrow night, fire wise, if it rains all day tomorrow. And we have fire and some smoke. Smoke will help get the bugs away at least. Yeah, I'm starting to hear some thunder. Hope the camera's picking that up. Definitely a big thunder cloud right there. But for now it doesn't look like it looks like it's going. Looks like it's going that way though, so. We might be spared for now. We'll see. Yeah, that thunder is rolling off to our east. Yeah, so where we were earlier today, up, up on Bartlett Mountain, they're probably getting hammered right now. But there's no one up there. Well, at least there shouldn't be. I'm glad I'm not still up there. Yeah, so far, no storms here, but that'll probably change. Maybe if not tonight, I mean, if not right now, maybe overnight or tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. But while we have well, we have a nice weather. We're going to enjoy it. I'm also going to test this out tonight in a tent. It's a, it's a light. It's like an LED light. And uh, Christie's fold up. You can hook it up into the tent. There's a little hook up in my tent. I think I can hook this on. One of my students got me a gift card for a, a company called REI. I forget what it stands for. Recreational Equipment or something. But uh, I forget the name brand for this. It was expensive. It was expensive for just a little guy. I'm going to test it out in the tent tonight. I'm going to hang it up in there and uh, see how much light it gives off on the for the inside of the tent. Be cool to see how that works out. Fire is dying down. It's about 8.30 and unfortunately I hear more thunder coming, but this time it's coming from straight that way. Last time you know, the clouds are up there, kind of skirted away, but I think this time it's coming right for us. So, oh boy. Well, it was bound to happen. Yes, I'll hang out here by the fire as long as I can, but I think we're going to get hit this time. Oh well, we'll see how that tent holds up. You know, and if for some reason, it, you know, if it got too bad, you know, I could always sleep in a Jeep too. But we'll see. Gotta test the waterproofness of that tent sometime. See how it goes. Like I said, I have some other tarps along that I could lay out, like especially on the front there a little bit. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, I was hoping. I was hoping they would just hold off. <laughs> but 
wishful thinking. All right. I'll enjoy what's left of my fire before we duck into the tent. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure if the camera's picking up that thunder or not. Yeah, I think it is. We still have our fire. <laughs> still going. Yeah, so the deluge just hit. I'm inside my tent now. That light up there is pretty bright. Works out pretty well in here. I guess you can hear it out there. Yeah. Storm has hit. Alright. Yeah, the storm is raging out there. Yeah, everything's holding up pretty well in here. Thunder, lightning, rain, wind. And I guess you can tell that light. That light works amazing for how small it is. See how lights up the whole tent. Well, that'll be it for the night, I think. Got changed in my comfy nighty clothes. So it's about nine o'clock. Let's hope the storm would end. Go outside a little bit here, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Alright. Fall asleep to the sounds of the storm. Yeah. So far. Tents holding up 100 percent Alright. Oh. Good thunder. Alright. Good night. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully. Well, good morning. Time to greet the day. Ah, beautiful morning. Absolutely no leakage. Oh, last night. Ah, there's Naomi. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Worked amazing. She passed her test. This tent. Yeah, it rained. Uh, well, you know, when I went to bed, it was rain at nine o'clock. It was uh, raining pretty heavily, but rained about two or three in the morning until it stopped. All right, I have to work on some coffee. spoon out. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right, so it is somewhere between 7 and 8 o'clock this morning. Not quite sure what. I got up a little bit after 7, I think. Yeah, slept pretty well. Tent did amazing. So it, was, it was storming last night. Thunder and lightning. Pretty loud. I guess new experience actually, you know, camping you know, through a kind of rather severe thunderstorm. Uh, but it's nice this morning, which I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for that it was nice early on in the evening yesterday so I could, you know, sit by the fire, cook some food before before it downpoured. And this morning is nice yet. It's not like there's family of woodpeckers living in that tree up there. Anyway, 
All right, well, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for breakfast. Yeah, it's like, I think I'm gonna just stay here today. I, like I said, I think it talked about yesterday. I was thinking about going up to like Mount Pisgah State Park, but I'm just gonna stay here, hike some of the trails. I think there's Cottonwood Falls I'm gonna go to, and then uh, maybe I'll do that this morning. I don't know. And then there's a Cold Run Falls, a bunch of little waterfalls. Maybe I'll do that this morning. Since we got all that rain, maybe those little waterfalls will be flowing. Since some of those waterfalls are seasonal. And yeah, we'll just enjoy the day as we can. The rain is probably coming eventually, though. All right. I'm just going to relax with my coffee a little bit and then uh, I guess we'll get make some oatmeal. I have that corned beef hash, too, but I think I'll make, I think I'll make some oatmeal. And some powdered milk. Apple cinnamon oatmeal. Alrighty, well, that'll be it for now. I'm not sure how much more I'll film for this video, but for now I'm gonna start doing some, getting some hiking done today. I'm gonna head to, like I said, the Cold Run Falls Trail, I believe. We'll just deal with the rain if it comes. Actually, it did rain just a little bit while I was using the potty up there. So, all right. So, I'll at least see you again if I just, even just to finish out this video. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure if I'll film anything tonight or not. Depends on what happens tonight. So, anyway, uh, Farewell for now. Yeah, down by the river again. Of course, it's Friday afternoon now. Got a lot of rain yesterday. That was that little island we were on. It's that Wednesday evening. Yeah, so it is Friday afternoon now. I know last time I talked to you in this video was Thursday morning, I guess. But yeah, yesterday was pretty wet. Um, that's the way it is. But I did get two hikes in. I did the uh, Cottonwood Falls, got to, that was a beautiful spot, and I did the Cold Run Trail. I think I'll go ahead and quick throw a sneak peek into those two trails with you. So yeah, I got those two trails done. Got back to camp at like 2.30 and then it just pretty much rained till yeah, some point in the, in the night. A couple times it stopped. Um, I was able to get something to eat, cooked up but then the rain picked up again. So it was a little discouraging, but my tent is 100% waterproof. So that was good to know. Yeah, and this morning, oh yeah, today was absolutely beautiful. This morning I did the Canyon Vista Trail, four mile loop trail. That was, that was awesome. I think I'll go ahead quick show you just a brief clip of that too. Yes, that was, that was an awesome hike. I'm glad I did it today rather than trying to get it done yesterday with all the rain and stuff. So yeah, definitely, definitely. If there's one trail you should hike, it's that one. It's a little bit longer one, it's four miles. Some of the other ones are shorter, but wow. Yeah, wow. All right, but I am all packed up at camp. Gotta be out of here at three o'clock. It's just about one o'clock right now. So I don't have to rush. Just came, just came down here to say goodbye to the river again. Beautiful spot down here. I'll probably stop at the visitor center maybe see if they have a t-shirt or something beautiful place I definitely would come back here again all right but thanks thanks to all my viewers my patreon supporters because it's you guys that enable me to come to places like this and camp and hike and explore so thank you all right I'll see you around <laughs>